Greetings, weary travelers. Pull up a seat. Shirahime here with Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade. Last time we rung the blue bell and we got a stalker. <laughs> no, but he does kind of seem that way. You'll see later on. I just want to show you guys something real quick here. If you look at our file here, we now have three bells. We have the primary colors of three bells. Look at in this one. I'm on day 24, which is way past what uh, we're at now. And I only have two bells. So yeah, we're ahead of the way I was in my other games, that's for sure. All you missed me doing was making some blueberry juice. Woo-hoo! <laughs> so we're gonna go take care of our animals and our farm and uh... We're gonna go to Toucan Island today if we can. Oh hey, we got mail. You got mail! General store notice. Oh, new inventory. Cool. Ice creamer. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Yeah, I think you can make stuff like blueberry ice cream and stuff like that out of the berries that you find on the ground. Oh, I guess they got some new items now that, uh... We already know this. We, we are, you told us that last time. Why'd you send us in at least? Ah. Oh well, they just want to be nice, I guess. So yeah, that should be fun. Yeah, you get... You get a chicken. Chicken gives you eggs every day. Ducks give you eggs every two days. But keep in mind that if you let them out like an entire day and you forgot to put them in, they will not leave you anything in the morning because you know they'll be outside. <laughs> I think that'll also happen if you don't tend to them and feed, to, feed them for a day. Something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just trying to remember how things went. But we'll see that much later unless I screw up before then. <laughs> Which is entirely possible. I'll be straight with you guys. <laughs> Alright. Visit our other little darlings here. Hungry babies. Here you go, hungry babies. Oh yeah, that makes you happy. Makes me happy too that you're happy. You haven't grown up yet, huh? Must take them like 15 days. But hey, that means she should be growing up pretty soon, huh? You're already fully grown. You're just shaved and I still feel a little bad about that. Oh, I didn't put my items in here. Shoot. I gotta run and get the brush, because we want Tutu to be happy! We don't want her to be upset. Can't go a day having any of our animals being upset, right? We're probably gaining a couple hearts with them by now, too. As long as, you know, you tend to them every day and you brush them and everything, your hearts will slowly go up with them. And that's good. You definitely want to do that, because at five hearts you'll be able to ride your animals. You know, obviously not chickens and ducks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, at five hearts you'll do that. At I think the first one at ten hearts will give you a power berry, actually, which is pretty dang awesome. I'm just taking these just in case. I'm not sure if our tulips are going to be ready today, but they might be. So I want to be prepared. I don't think any of our other things will be ready today, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Yesterday was a pretty big produce day for us, so I think today's not going to be. Alright, let's brush our babies. Our precious sisters. Oh uh, yeah, did I tell you guys? After uh uh figure out what my tax return money's gonna be, I'm gonna end up investing in a Wii U. <laughs> I can't help it after they put out that trailer for Mario. Cart 8, the newest one. Oh man. I can't not get that game. So I'm going to treat myself and splurge a little bit. It's gonna be tough not to splurge even more than that, to be honest, because I'd have to get a different recorder to record footage of that. A much more expensive one. We're talking like $150. Man, I wish I had money. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, hey, I got I've been getting a little bit of commission work for my art. You know, not a ton, but some. And that helps a little bit, so. Oh yeah, we got some tulips today. 
Cool. Not all of them, though. That one didn't finish. But these ones did. Yay! I wonder why that one's lagging behind. Must be like the soil wasn't as nice. Let's see if that's the same down here. Yeah. I wonder why these ones didn't even... Did I forget to water them yesterday? I don't think I did. These aren't ready, I don't think. Are these? No. One more day on those. Ooh, our strawberries are almost ready. I'm gonna keep the tulips because we can get some, uh... We can give them to people is what I mean. <laughs> what I was meaning to say. We'll sell that. Why not? And let's water stuff. Oh wait, first let's plant some, some more of our two whips, two whips, two whips. Man, this is gonna put everything growing at weird times, but you know, we can't help it if some of them didn't finish growing yet. I must have somehow forgotten to water those. I feel like a real derp right now. But that's nothing new, is it? <laughs> Okay, so what to talk about? Why I ship chasing Molly? Okay, let's go. Um, I like the whole thing that he's he's not it's not easy for him to open up to people apparently. He's very shut off from the world. And you know, if Molly makes the investment into befriending him, he appreciates that later on. You know, he says you know it's kind of awkward because he's not used to it and stuff, but he warms up to her, and I think that's awesome. He's, he's a very distant bachelor. I also kind of feel like he wears fake smile. Like, remember when he, we first met him, and like, you know, he, he introduces himself and he smiles for like two seconds before it goes down the hole. So I feel like he kind of puts that face on when he's like in public, and being social, or you know, some semblance of social. But I like to think that you know, once he once he uh, warms up to Molly, he, his smiles become more genuine. I don't know, I'm just rambling about things basically, but you guys wanted to know, so I'm telling you. And he's kind of a bit of a jerk sometimes, and I always end up, like, you know, shipping someone with a jerk. It just happens a lot of the time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I can see him, like, teasing her, or even, you know, being a jerk sometimes, and then arguing, and I love conflict in my in my pairings, okay? I love it. If people are always getting along and always being sweet and tooth rottingly cute, it just gets to me after a while. Like, I like it for a while, I like cute things too. And I like the idea of them having cute moments and stuff. But, um, I also like conflict. I like it a lot. You guys probably know that because I ship, you know, the Kirihiru. <laughs> of course, how many of you that watch this don't? Well, those of you that know Princess Tutu, anyways. But yeah, let's see what else. Um, yeah, like I said with the cooking thing, you know, he basically has no patience for Maya whatsoever, but he wants to give Molly a chance. He wants to see what she can do. He wants to taste what she can make. I just think that's cool. Kind of shows that he has he has a mild interest in her already. Not like extreme or anything, but you know, you get it. There are some more adultish reasons that I like them together too, but let's not go into that because there might be some younger kids watching this. <laughs> no, come on, you guys know I like sexy times with my OTPs. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that on the video. Well, there you go. What do you expect, okay? I'm in my 20s, my late 20s, for those of you that didn't know. Yeah, I'm one of those LPers. Deal with it. I'm not a youngin, and I'm okay with that. Because I enjoy gaming, and I enjoy sharing my gaming experiences with you. Hooray! <laughs> hey, maybe we'll get cherries today. That'd be great, huh? But yeah, I also think their date is really cute. I'm not gonna spoil that for you. We'll see it when we get there. I don't remember his confession, to be honest. So we'll have to we'll have to wait for that too. Yeah, I ended up shipping them like a lot. 
You know, it also helps that there's a lot of cute art of them. Like, Japanese artists have made quite a bit of them. I've shared some of them on my Tumblr before, but you'd probably have to dig a bit to find those. Well, it wouldn't be that hard, considering my Harvest Moon tags probably aren't nearly as long as the Princess Tutu ones. Okay, there we go. You know, we can probably go take a soak in our hot tub, too. Not our hot tub, or... Hot spring! Oh, it's kind of like a hot tub. Oh, come on! Why will you not give us any fruit? I thought these were fully grown. I'm, I'm disappointed in that. I'm almost tempted just to cut them down, to be honest. Yeah, maybe we'll do that today. Maybe we'll go into Fuge Forest. If, if we can't get to Toucan Island. If we can, you know, that's definitely where our day is going. Without a doubt. But we'll see. So I might not even get to fully check that out in this video since it, you know, takes a while to farm and everything. But you guys wanted to hear me talk about that apparently, so I shared it with you. Now you know! <laughs> you know, if there's more things along the way, I'll show you. Or I'll tell you about, you know, why I think it's shippy. Of course, come on, shippers find shippy reasons for everything, don't we? It's just part of what we do! Oh, I can let my animals out, what the heck. We should be back in time to put him in, I think. Good little darlings. And I'm gonna go put some of these tools away because, you know, in case we can get to Toucan Island today, I want to have room to pick up stuff. So we can get some interesting stuff there. That you can't get anywhere else. I'm not sure if we can get a hibiscus there just yet or not. I think there's something else we have to do first. That's okay because we're not even into summer yet, so we cannot ring that bell until summer, guys. Don't forget that. Because we need corn. Jimmy Crack corn, and I don't care. <laughs> Sorry. Oh boy. I'll probably save some of those seashells to give to some of the girls. I'm sure which of the girls like them. Actually, I think one of the girls that we'll be meeting pretty soon likes them. But I won't spoil anything just yet. But yeah, we're unlocking a lot of people, aren't we? We've got Anissa. And now this, uh, Gil character. Although, you know, even though he introduced himself, I think he disappears for a while again. Like, you, if you go to the mayor's house, you can't see him for some reason. I don't know, I don't think he's entirely unlocked yet, and I'm not sure what we have to do to do that, but we'll figure it out! All in due time, my friends, all in due time. We could run down to Flute Fields quick and give Chase something, but no. That's a little too far. We want to check this Toucan Island thing first. But we will do that, supposedly, if, uh... If we can't do Toucan Island today, then I'll definitely stop, stop by there and we'll give Chase a present. I mean, I'd like to go out of our way and do it now, but I want to... We, if we can get to Toucan Island today, I want to make sure we have time to enjoy it. Not that it necessarily takes a long, long time or anything, but you know, someone wanted me to, to befriend the panda bears that you find there. But you, it costs money to go there, and it takes a pretty big chunk of your day, so I can't really afford to be going there every day just to befriend an animal. So I'm afraid we will not be able to do that, as far as the panda bears go. But we will meet them, and we will greet them whenever we do go. Hey, that's a lot of sea urchins, good. That'll give us a little bit of a backlog of those to use for when spring is done. Because you can't get them outside of spring. So you want to collect those because a lot of people like them. Perhaps not a lot of you, but I know Chase likes them. I know the entire fishing family likes them. And there's someone else or two? I don't know. I don't exactly remember. You know, while I'm thinking of it, we're also going to make a little stop here. Le Clinique. Like I said, you know, I needed to pick up a... What? Oh, she's happy! What's up? Whoa! Hey! I didn't know we unlocked this. Cool! So, this is Dr. Jin. He does the whole push up the glasses thing with his hand <laughs> that they do in lots of anime. Up. I'm sure you can probably guess 
that he is a bachelor. But here, we'll show you the sparklies. If you're into the study of stern types, totally go for him. He's also kind of a Chinese-ish, I think, in appearance. In my opinion, I'm not trying to be, you know, against any sort of race. <laughs> just to clear that up, I'm just saying from the way he dresses and stuff, I think they were intending to make him like he was Chinese. I don't know for sure, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Could be Japanese, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not exactly good at distinctions like that. But hey, we'll, we'll say hello to him, why not? You know, actually, he's really easy to befriend because you can just go over here, buy a remedy, and give it to him, and he's thrilled. <laughs> oh, we can't even get those yet. Never mind. But yeah, I'm gonna get two of these. That's just to be safe the next few times you go to the- because sometimes the gases will just hit you right out of nowhere, and you have nowhere to go to get out of the way. You've seen that happen to me with poison gas, but yeah. The yellow gas, it can cause sleepiness, which I don't mind so much. But the bad stuff is catching a cold. You don't want that. Whoa, 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 what? When did you get here? Hi. You literally took a guitar out of nowhere. I just saw it disappear and reappear into thin air. What the fruit? Look at it! Oh my god, this is this is really amusing me. Are you gonna do it again? You are <laughs> Like, hey, hey, check a trick. Here's a magic trick. I'm gonna show it to you again. And gone. And check it out, dudes. Check it out, dudes. Here we go again. And it's back. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god, that that amuses me so dang much. Wow. So Calvin knows magic tricks. Wait, we're gonna check this real quick. Oh, close Sundays. Okay, we can get a ticket then. Let's do that! We're going to Toucan Island! Yeah! We should be able to make it there before we stop this video, I think. Oh, but he's, he's all happy about this bell thing, so he's gotta tell us he's got new fish stuff, right? Alright! We don't wanna buy fish, sorry. We wanna buy boat tickets. I'm gonna buy a couple of them. Because we're going to need to go more than once, I'm pretty sure. It's way at the bottom here, see? I'm gonna get... I don't want to overdo it, but... We'll get two for now. It'll be open for a lot of days, since Sunday was just over with, so... If we really need another ticket, we can just buy one. It'll be open. That's good to know. Yeah, we're going to a new place! We're going to Toucan Island! I'm just gonna check the beach really quick. Oh, look, another sea urchin. Wow. Alright. I will take that, thank you. Just making sure there's not more. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Pascal and his ship are pretty much here every day. Even regardless of whether the shop is open or not. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta get the ticket out first, I think. Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to Toucan Island! We're going to Toucan Island! Woohoo! Yes! Alright! Looks like a little tugboat, doesn't it? Oh my god, that's so cute! I like the little headlights up there, they almost look like eyes. Toucan Island, here we go! Wow! I'd vacation here. I don't know about you guys. I totally would. Oh man, this is really making me want summer. <laughs> I was wanting spring, but not wanting summer! Of course, our beaches don't usually look this tropical. <laughs> they look a little lackluster in comparison. It'd be nice if we had warm waters this year, but it's 
unlikely to happen for the most part. I'll take a quick look around here. I don't think that's something we can pick up. No. I'm just taking a quick look around. Oh, it's a fur seashell. It's a fur seashell. It's a fur seashell. Oh, another one. Sorry if you can hear that clicking. I was like, hey, pick it up. Pick it up, pal! Well, we still got a few minutes. Let's check out the... What is this, like a gift shop? Oh, the Pineapple Inn. Well, it's only closed on holidays. Interesting. Although I'm not sure you can use the boat on holidays anyway, so it's not something to worry about. Alright, let's meet some new people. Nice panoramic view here. Yo! That's right! What's up? A lot of people for some reason think she's a big bitch, but you know, I don't see it. She's a little eccentric and kind of excited about things and foolhardy, but I don't think she's a bad person. Uh-oh. More family problems. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, some of us have had these mother and daughter conversations, haven't we? Oh, jeez. Okay, Selena, that's going a little bit too far. Molly's like, how do I always walk on, walk in on this stuff? <laughs> oh, this poor guy. Dude, he's almost got a head like a pineapple. That's awesome. Also, oh, he actually wants to support his daughter, but at the same time, he wants to support his wife. I don't know, buddy. You know, I think they should both support Selena and let her do what she wants to do. Hi, Samson. Or Samson. Uh, why am I saying that like it has a P? I can't, oh. It must be my dialect, I don't know. Ooh, hibiscus seeds, we want that. What? Oh no! Okay, so basically, yeah, this is the problem we have to solve. Or you can't get the hibiscus. Uh, aloha! Poor Selena. I do feel kind of sorry for her that, you know, her mom doesn't think she's a grown-up. Her mom doesn't think she's old enough, so she's kind of stuck. But you know what? We're going to leave it here. I, whoops, I don't want to make that up. But yeah, we're indoors, so I don't have to worry about the time. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this installment of Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade. I've been Shiri Hime, and uh, have, have safe travels, my friends. I will see you next time. Bye-bye!